Okay, so we're here at the beautiful Steenberg 11th hole. It's quite a tricky hole, even though it's a short hole, so you need to really be thinking what you're doing and what club you're going to select off the tee box. So what's quite prominent on this hole, there's a water hazard that goes all the way around the left-hand side of the hole, and a very, very small water hazard on the right-hand side, which really doesn't sort of come into play. So a suggestion on a hole like this is, rather than teeing up in the middle of the box, from a visual perspective, let's tee up on the left-hand side of the box, so we play away from the most prominent trouble. So what I've got here is a six iron, which if I use my rangefinder to that bunker, the two little small pot bunkers on the right hand side, it's about 200 meters away from there. So I'm going to take a club for me, which is a six iron that leaves me just short of the bunkers on the right. That should give me a nice open shot into this difficult green as well. So let's give it a go. Okay, so after our first shot, we, we ended up in a good position here, just short of these two pot bunkers. That's a good aim line from the tee box. This is definitely a green you want to be careful for, okay? So there's water tucked closely on the left-hand side. So if they put a pin on the left-hand side of this hole, be very, very careful to go out the hole. So always try and aim here for the center of the green. There's some nice prominent aim lines, which are those pine trees at the back. Or there's also the 12 tee box marker which is quite a good spot to aim at to try and avoid the trouble on the left hand side so i'm going to take a club here for me that's going to try and get me just to the heart of the green um, why it was important off the box to play to the right hand side here it also gives us a nice open look at this green whereas if you're on the left hand side going over the water much much harder shot in 